First thought when you hear organic chemistry? It's the hardest class I've ever taken. I have absolutely no idea what organic chemistry is, and I'm glad I'm never going to have to worry about it. When I think about organic chemistry, I realize I know nothing about that. It seems like a great place to look for a future husband. When I think of organic chemistry, I think organic chemistry is kind of difficult. In fact, those who struggle with it tend to have all kinds of problems. you're gonna say. Organic chemistry's the devil. Wrong. That would be me. It's brutal. It'll make your life miserable in ways that I can't. It'll kill you, your sleep schedule, <laughs> your GPA, and your non-existent social life. But down in my circles, we've kind of been calling it the pharmaceutical guardian angel. When you get right down to it, it's basically the cure for college. You got a nasty hangover? No worries, just pop a Tylenol. Because of the structure of acetaminophen, Tylenol blocks the pain messengers known as prostaglandins and acts as an analgesic, which is just a fancy word for pain reliever. Orgo got you feeling low? Pop a Prozac. Because of a trifluoromethyl substituent, they block the reuptake of 5-hydroxyltryptamine, better known as serotonin, like a champ. A one-night stand leave you feeling under the weather? Well, a shot of penicillin will clear that right up by inactivating transpeptidase. This occurs because transpeptidase is a nucleophile and penicillin is an electrophile. When the carbon on penicillin undergoes a nucleophilic attack by the transpeptidase, a bond is formed and transpeptidase is inactivated. Without active transpeptidase, peptidoglycan cannot be synthesized and therefore the cell wall will not be synthesized either. This leaves bacteria to undergo cell death. Grignard came up with a reaction where an alkyl or vinyl group is added to the carbonyl group of a ketone. In this case, he used a phenyl Grignard reagent to break the double bonded O and form an alcohol before removing the alcohol group to give the final product, tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is a drug that treats breast cancer when oxidized in the body, allowing for bondage to breast estrogen. Not only does organic chemistry act as a cure for college students, it's actually treating cancer. <music> methamphetamine, the drug meth, and levomethamphetamine, a nasal spray, are examples of enantiomers. Due to stereochemistry, when synthesizing either drug, you will receive a racemic product, meaning both drugs are present one slightly more than the other. In the past, stereochemistry and racemic mixtures have been responsible for tragedy. One such instance of tragedy stemmed from the usage of the drug thalidomide. Our thalidomide was successfully used to treat morning sickness in pregnant women. However, S thalidomide was proven to cause severe birth defects. The drug was taken off the market because whenever our thalidomide was introduced to the body, inevitably some of it would convert back to S-thalidomide. And at this point in time, scientists had no way to prevent racemic mixtures. To overcome the stereochemical problem, these three Nobel Prize laureates contribute to the creation of a catalytic asymmetric synthesis method. This method guarantees a non-racemic product 
and this method led to the creation of several medications which would have otherwise been unsafe for human usage.